What's up everybody? It is July 2nd, 2023. We are once again here at Burger King, letting my son play. We don't have any food in case anyone was wondering. I mean like, I, I, I didn't order any food. We don't, <laughs> we don't have extra money for that. I don't know if uh, people assume that because we're at a food place that we always get food. It's not the case. It's definitely not the case. But anyhow, um, nothing to report. Same situation. Yep, same situation. less than three months to it being one year of being homeless like I said we went we, we went homeless around like September 20th of last year and so it's about two and a half months until that date I, re I really wish we weren't homeless when that date came around I'm gonna be really sad depressed and extremely disappointed in myself if we are still homeless, you know, after a year. Yeah. It's gonna be very bad. I want, I'm, I'm, I rack my brain every day trying to figure out what to do. Tomorrow, um, because our bus passes are expired now because we get a bus pass for like the month. So we're gonna go to the welfare office tomorrow to try to get a new bus pass. And um, I believe there's a temp temporary agency over there, you know, where you can get like a temporary job. And um, I was thinking about going over there and seeing if I could get something. In California, they're normally all booked up. You go to a temporary agency and they just don't have any openings normally. But you know, this is not California, it's Washington, so. Maybe I'd have some luck. I don't know. I mean, you know, you, you start to get to a point where you start to think of just all kinds of crazy stuff, you know? I mean, I'm gonna be honest, you know, I don't, I don't wanna commit crime or anything to get money. But really, honestly, you get to a point where you start just thinking about anything. It's like you you need money so bad. I mean that we didn't that, that's why we beg. We went we we didn't beg for money at first. As you guys know, I you know, I was um I was working for 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 a little bit at least at um at Dickie's barbecue. So I was making my own money and we were just trying to survive from that and from um you know what we get from the welfare. This was in California welfare and you know, nano social security. So yet we didn't start begging to like February or something like that. I can't remember when we first started begging for money. But anyhow, yeah, so we, I mean, we didn't even want to do that. That was, it was already humiliating enough and, you know, we just didn't want to do that. But it got to a point where it just needed money so bad. I lost my job, lost the car, just everything. And it's like, we you know, we just had to beg. And so, yeah, so you get to a point to where, you know, you get so low and it's like, you just start thinking of well, what can you do, you know? But um, thus far, you know, I've I've not been committing crimes. You know, I'm, I I don't I don't want to go steal and try to resell stuff. I don't want to sell drugs, and I want to I don't I don't want to rob anybody. I mean, as you guys know, I was already locked up for six years. I'm not trying to do that again, especially now. It's different. I have a child. Especially, don't want to be locked up when you have you know a child. But my point is just that that's that's how when when things get really bad. When you're not making it, like I said, we're, we're approaching the one year of being homeless. And, you know, every day we are begging and, you know, and if I continue to not get a job, like say I go to the temp agency and for whatever reason they can't give me a job or it, even if they could, it is temporary. That's the whole point of it. It's temporary, you know. Um, sometimes they have work, sometimes they don't. It's like, and... You know, we need shelter every day. And, and, and so, like, say, like, okay, you got a job today. And, you know, say I go work and make $100, $120, whatever. It's like, okay, I worked, I earned money, I got enough for a hotel. And then the, the next day, like, oh, well, we don't have any jobs for today. Well, still need hotel for that next day. 
don't want to sleep on the street, and so, okay, still got a beggar, you know? I'm just, I'm just talking. I'm just, I'm just telling you that that's, you know, that's the point we're at. We're several months into this homeless thing, and really, you just start to become desperate, and you just start to think of, what can you possibly freaking do? I mean, to the point of, like, people, we, we've met other homeless people, and they're like, hey, you can go sell plasma, you know? I mean, it's a one-time thing, or you could do it for a couple of times, and... You know, you go in there for several several sessions, and I don't know how much they give you, a few hundred or whatever it is. You know, I'm just saying, you know, you start to think, hey, can I sell plasma or blood? Well, you can't sell blood. You could donate blood, but no one's paying you for blood anymore. Um, you know, can I sell an organ? I mean, really, that's how bad it gets. Should I commit crime? Should I sell an organ? You know, I mean, I'm a guy, so no one's gonna pay me for sex so prostitution is not an option for me you know and i don't i don't want becca doing that you know should i sell drugs you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm just just talking i'm just saying that these are the thoughts when you get really really low you just start um you know you want you want to make sure especially when you have a child it's not just me um, when you have a child, it's like, I, I need to make sure he has somewhere to sleep every night. And he needs to have food every day, bare minimum. And it's like, I'm not going to allow him to not have that. And so that's why we do beg. It's like, matter of fact, the, uh, what was it? it? Was yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. We got enough money for the hotel. And so we all went back to the hotel. And then I went back out by myself just to beg by myself just to get whatever extra money that um, we could for food, you know, for the next day or for hotel for the next day for whatever, you know, because we, I mean, you know, we always need money. But my point is that, you know, in my mind, it's like I'm, I'm going to do what I have to do, you know, to, to make money. If I got to go stand out on a corner for a few hours and beg to get money so my son can have food and somewhere to sleep, that's what I got to do, and that's what I do. That's what I do do, you know, but... It's coming to the point where, I mean, you know, with donations, you never know. You never know if people are going to donate to you or not. It's, it's so sporadic. And so you start to think of other ways you could get money, you know. You go to, you apply for a job, you go to a job interview, they shoot you down. You're like, okay, well, that didn't work. And, you know, you apply for other jobs, they don't even call you or anything. Not, you know, not an interview. So... You know, so anyhow, so that's just that's just my thoughts, just me thinking out loud. Just I'm just saying that this this homelessness thing, it's getting too far along. We're nine months in. It's too far along. I, and it ain't even for me. I want to get my son out of it. I don't want my son to be homeless anymore. I mean, I don't want to be homeless anymore either. I want a house and you know and all that stuff too. It, <coughs> excuse me. And so, yeah, you just you start getting really desperate. You start thinking, hey, like I told you guys the other day, should we just leave this place, go somewhere else? Literally, should we go to Canada? Should we go to Mexico? Should I, you know, go live in the ocean on a boat? <laughs> you know, I mean, whatever. How are you going to get a boat? I don't know. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying that you get to a, a certain low point and Pretty much everything starts becoming a possibility. You're like, well, if I have to do that, I have to do that. I have to do this or that or whether or whatever. You don't want to do it. So I don't know. So I don't know what to do. All I know is I don't want to be homeless anymore. I don't want my son to be homeless anymore. We're approaching a year of being homeless, and it's just unacceptable, you know. And if I do, say, I go to the temp agency and say I do get declined or, oh, we don't have any job openings or whatever, apply for more jobs and get declined, I'm telling you, you know, you get to a point, it's like, I'm not allowing my son to be without food, and I'm not allowing my son to be without housing. We, you know, we slept one night in the field in a tent, but that was just because they didn't have any hotels available, and, you know, for the money that we had, so that was an exception, but even that's unacceptable. I don't want my son sleeping in a tent in the field. I don't even like him being in a hotel. I want him to have a house or apartment or an RV or, you know, a real you know, a home. So anyways, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. That's all I'm doing. 
That's what these videos are. That's all these videos are. It's really not to anybody. I mean, it's kind of for you guys, but it's kind of for me. It's kind of just me, you know. Look at that nose hair. It's on my right side. I don't know what side it is. I don't know if the camera flips it around, but right here. Look at that. Oh, wow, why does it hurt so much? Mother. I'm not kidding. Ow, wow. Oh, there's pain and I'm not getting it. Oh. Ow, mother. Did I get it? Jeez. Oh. Why am I not getting it? Is that my, my mustache? Sorry, you guys gotta see my nose hairs. Probably should do this off camera, but I noticed it on camera, so I'm just trying to take care of it on camera. So you guys could. Man. I'm like grabbing 10 hairs at a time and not the right one. Ow. Why am I not getting it? It's right there. Huh. Very frustrating. Get it? I think I got it. Is that another one? I think I got it. I think that's another one. Anyways, so there's also that little one. I'll get that later. Anyways. Alright, well, that's the video. Just me talking. Yeah, this homelessness thing, it's getting uh it's getting out of hand. It's getting it's getting very depressing. It's really taking a toll on Beck and the Eye's health. It's taking a toll on um, Nano's mental health. I mean, he's already disabled, mentally disabled. He's already autistic, you know, but this homelessness thing, it's really taking a toll on him. It's taking a toll on Beck and I. Someone even mentioned today, a Walmart worker who sees us all the time, they're like, wow, Matt, you, uh, you lost weight. I didn't even notice that. Have I? I don't know. Hmm. I feel fat. Face is fat, but they said I lost weight. But, um, yeah, it's taken a toll on us. This, this homelessness thing, it needs to end. We need, a, we need a home. We need a car. We need a home. We need money. I'm just, I'm tired of, you know, eating scraps. We, we, you know, we make sure Nano eats first. We really try to make sure he eats right. Make sure, like I said, he has protein every day and fruit and vegetable and all that. But a lot of times, Beck and I, you know, we, uh, basically eat either leftovers or we you know what people donate to us if someone does buy us like burger king or you know sometimes people give us like granola bars or just whatever we just eat pretty much whatever we're like we're like dogs or birds you know whatever people throw at us that's what we have or like we get the the uh the welfare food money in a couple of days we, then we we can eat a little bit better but um but anyhow it's just the point of we when we get money it's like oh well Got to get the hotel. The hotel is so much money. And then just everything. I mean, even like Nano's diapers, like I told you guys, that's $120 a month. $30 a box times four boxes. Money sucks, man. I'll tell you what, man. Everything costs money. Man. It sucks. Anyhow, I'm just, I'm just rambling at this point. I don't even know if anybody's watching. I wish I could see. I wonder if I could look at that in my demographics, like the curve of people watching. It probably gets to a point and then people lose interest and just I'll see look at this other hair right here. Look at this. That's 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 a mustache hair. Ah, wow that hurt. Did I get it? Man, that hurt. But yeah, you probably get to a point and like, oh, he's starting to pluck nose hairs and then the uh, the the views tank. <laughs> so by this point in the video, I wouldn't be surprised if nobody's even watching anymore. It's probably been like, what, 10, 15 minutes already? No one's even watching this anymore. I need to cut my beard. Look at that. Oh, I hate having, like, scraggly hairs. I look terrible. I look like a bum. Anyways, I'm ending this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next video.